Stella Luna by Janelle Cannon. <sighs> oh, hello. Welcome to Living Books. This is the story of a young fruit bat. Me. My name is Stella Luna. If you want to have my book read to you, click over here. To have a story read and play inside it, click over here. To learn more about bats, click here. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Little Bumble Bear's Let's Play. I'm Chris and Little Bumble Bear. We are returning to the Living Book series with Stella Luna, who has a very groovy song going right now. Be sure to give the video a like, comment down below if you remember playing this game, and subscribe for more nostalgic content. There will be a playlist in the description box of the other Living Books games I have put on the channel, so go check that out if you want to see more. Thank you for being here, and enjoy. Let's begin. Okay, let's go. In a warm and sultry forest, far, far away, there once lived a mother fruit bat and her new baby. Oh, how mother bat loved her soft, tiny baby. I'll name you Stella Luna. She crooned. Stella Luna. Oh, this is beautiful. Isn't this beautiful? I love you, Stella Luna. I love you. Each night, Mother Bat would carry Stella Luna clutched to her breast as she flew out to search for food. Hold tight, Stella Luna. It's time to eat. One night, as Mother Bat followed the heavy scent of ripe fruit, an owl spied her. Oh no, Mr. Al. Oh, don't you be doing what I think you're doing. <gasps> no! On 
on silent wings, the powerful birds swoop down upon the bats. Oh, no. Mother, what is it? An owl. Hang on, Stella Luna. Dodging and shrieking, Mother Bat tried to escape, but the owl struck oh, again no. and again, knocking Stella Luna into the air. Her baby wings were as limp and useless as wet paper. Down, down she went, faster and faster, into the forest below. Stella Luna! The dark, leafy tangle of branches caught Stella Luna as she fell. One twig was small enough for Stella Luna's tiny feet. I like how the Wrapping her wings about her, she clutched the thin branch, trembling with cold and fear. Mother? Stella Luna squeaked. Where are you? Okay, the mother was able to uh, avoid the owl. That's good. I don't want a Disney storyline where the mama dies. By daybreak, the baby bat could hold on no longer. Down, down again she dropped. See the little bat icon? I love that. Plump. Stella Luna landed head first in a soft, downy nest, startling the three baby birds who lived there. Stella Luna quickly clambered from the nest and hung out of sight below it. She listened to the babble of the three birds. What was that? What? 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 I don't know, but it's hanging by its feet. That's a strange looking bird. No tail feathers? How weird. So the mother is out looking for her now.
don't remember seeing this bird before. Let's take a closer look at it. You go first. Ow! Yep, it's alive, all right. Where am I? This is our nest. We live here with our mom. Are you going to live here? Uh, I don't know. Who are you? I'm Pip. Pip, Pip. Hi, Pip, Pip, Pip. I'm Flap. And I'm Flitter. Uh, uh, hello. Mama. Here's to Pip. Many, many times that day, Mama Bird flew away, always returning with food for her babies. Me! 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 Stella Luna was terribly hungry but not for the crawly things Mama Bird brought. Don't you want some stuff, Luna? These are yummy. Don't you want to join us? Finally, though, the little bat could bear it no longer. She climbed into the nest, closed her eyes, and opened her mouth. Here she comes. How can they eat that? It's still moving. I gotta eat something. Plop! In dropped a big green grasshopper. Stella Luna learned to be like the birds. She stayed awake all day and slept at night. Aren't you guys even a little bit tired? <sighs> this is my favorite part of the day. She ate bugs even though they tasted awful. Bats gotta do what a bat's gotta do. Ugh. Yummy. Her bat ways were quickly disappearing. Except for one thing. Stella Luna still liked to sleep, hanging by her feet. I want to take a nap, you guys. Me too. And me. I don't know if we should. Once, oh when Mama goodness. was away, the curious baby <laughs> birds decided to try it, too. Oh my goodness, guys, look at that! <laughs> Stella Luna! She's still looking Where for the baby. Where are you? She's teaching birds how to be bats.
When Mama Bird came home, she saw eight tiny feet gripping the edge of the nest. Eek! She cried. Get back up here this instant. You're going to fall and break your necks. Yes, Mama. Uh-oh. <laughs> you will never see that. The birds clambered back into the nest, but Mama Bird stopped Stella Luna. Uh-oh. You are teaching my children to do bad things. I will not let you back into this nest unless you promise to obey all the rules of this house. Stella Luna promised. I'm sorry. I promise. She ate bugs without making faces. She slept in the nest at night. <laughs> and she didn't hang by her feet. Stella Luna behaved as a good bird should. What a good little bird you are. Delicious. Fun. <laughs> <sighs> 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 
the babies grew quickly. Soon, the nest became crowded. Move over. Move over, you're crowding me. Ouch. Watch out. Do not get to. Move aside. Watch out. That's enough. Mama Bird told them it was time to learn to fly. This nest is too crowded. It's high time you learn to fly. Watch me. Open your wings, get ready to jump, and fly! One by one, Pip, Flitter, Flap, and Stella Luna jumped from the nest. Their wings worked. I'm just like them, thought Stella Luna. I can fly too. It's your turn. Thanks for the lift. Sure is a long way down. Sure is. Whoa! Uh-oh. Sorry. It's not working. Let go of your feet. There she goes! Here she comes! Nice landing. Thanks. I know I can fly. Good, huh? Yeah. Oh, 
Pimp, Flitter, and Flap landed gracefully on a branch. Stella Luna tried to do the same. How embarrassing. You're not Stella Luna. The search continues. Oh, there's my cameo. I'm always in a game. No, no, no! Do it like this! Use your feet! fly all day, Stella Luna told herself. Then no one will see how clumsy I am. The next day, Pip, Flitter, Flap, and Stella Luna went flying far from home. They flew for hours, exercising their new wings. Can't catch me! I'm coming! Hey, where are you going? Hey, wait up, you guys! But Stella Luna had flown far ahead and was nowhere to be seen. Stella Luna! That is not Stella Luna, ma'am. Stella Luna? Stella Luna? 
is a theme throughout this book. Warned Flitter. We had better go home or we will get lost in the dark, said Flap. The three anxious birds went home without her. All alone, Stella Luna flew and flew until her wings ached and she dropped into a tree. I can't fly any farther. Oh, I promised not to hang by my feet. Stella Luna <gasps> sighed. So she hung by her thumbs and soon fell asleep. Stella Luna! She didn't hear the soft sound of wings coming near. Hey! A loud voice said. Why are you hanging upside down? Stella Luna's eyes opened wide. She saw a most peculiar face. I'm not upside down. You are, said Stella Luna. Ah, but you're a bat. Bats hang by their feet. You are hanging by your thumbs. So that makes you upside down, the creature said. I'm a bat. I am hanging by my feet. That makes me right side up. Stella Luna was confused. Mama Bird told me I was upside down. She said I was wrong. Wrong for a bird, maybe, but not for a bat. <laughs> she found her people. It all started when an owl attacked my mother and me. We were flying along, searching for food. More bats gathered around to see the strange young bat who behaved like a bird. 
Stella Luna told them her story. And then we flew and flew and got separated. And now, here I am. <laughs> I don't think she's down there. Yeah, they're all bats. That butterfly is so cute. You mean you lost your mother? Yes, I did. Oh, that's too bad. Hey, I'm a bird! I'm a bird! Tweet! Tweet! Yeah, but you can't sing. I was all alone, and then the birds took care of me. Uh, raised by birds! You ate b b bugs? That's all we had. Ugh. Yuck. Yuck. An owl attacked you? Oh, uh, what's an owl? They're really scary. They have big <coughs> eyes and big claws, and their heads turn like this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me look at this child. A bat pushed through the crowd. Ex excuse me, excuse me. An owl attacked you? She asked, sniffing Stella Luna's fur. She whispered, you are Stella Luna. You are my baby. You escaped the owl? Cried Stella Luna. You survived? Yes, said Mother Bat as she wrapped her wings around Stella Luna. Isn't this just the sweetest story ever? This is my mother. Yes, we do look alike. <laughs> A friend of yours? Yes, since my first night alone. It's like a guardian butterfly. I missed you so much. I thought I had lost you forever. You're such a beautiful bat. Thank you, Mother. Come with me, and I'll show you where to find the most delicious fruit. You'll never have to eat another bug as long as you live. But it's nighttime. Stella Luna squeaked. We can't fly in the dark or, or we will crash into trees. We're bats, said Mother Bat. We can see in darkness. Come with us. Mother, wait. Stella Luna was afraid, but she let go of the tree and dropped into the deep blue sky. Stella Luna could see. She felt as though rays of light shone from her eyes. She was able to see everything in her path. 
Soon, the bats found a mango tree. And Stella Luna ate as much of the fruit as she could hold. Excuse me. Mangoes are my favorite fruit. They are marvelous, magnificent, a miracle of taste. So juicy and delightful, I could eat them every day. They're so delicious, so nutritious, what more could there be? Many mangoes, juicy mangoes for me. song everyone another bug as long as I live cheered Stella Luna as she stuffed herself full mm, I must tell Pip flitter and flap the next day Stella Luna went to visit the birds Come with me and meet my bat family, said Stella Luna. Okay, let's go, agreed Pip. They hang by their feet and they fly at night and they eat the best food in the world, Stella Luna explained to the birds on the way. As the birds flew among the bats, Flap said, I feel upside down here. So the birds hung by their feet. <laughs> Everyone, this is my bird family. I'm Flap. Hi, I'm Flitter. P Pip. And, and that's, that's Pip. Pip. How does it feel to be upside down? Okay, but it sure messes up my feathers. How do you take off when you're upside down? Just drop and flap. Flap. I guess it's not as easy as it sounds.
I know Mama Bird told us not to, <laughs> but isn't it great hanging by our feet? <laughs> yeah. Great. Mm-hmm. Looking bats. They aren't bats. They're birds. Oh, birds. Hey, wait up! Hey, come on, slow down, will ya? Wrong bat! Look! What? Look! What? Look! What? Birds hanging upside down! It's about time they got it right! Wait until dark, Stella Luna said excitedly. We will fly at night. <coughs> when night came, Stella Luna flew away. <whistles> Pip, Flitter, and Flap leapt from the tree to follow her. I can't see a thing! yelled Pip. Neither can I! howled Flitter. Aye! shrieked Flap. They're going to crash! gasped Stella Luna. I must rescue them! <laughs> Stella Luna swooped about, grabbing her friends in the air. She lifted them to a tree, and the birds grasped a branch. Stella Luna hung from the limb above them. We're safe, said Stella Luna. Then she sighed. I wish you could see in the dark, too. We wish you could land on your feet, Flitter replied. Pip and Flap nodded. They perched in silence for a long time. Want a bug? No thanks. I've had enough. I can't see anything down there. I'm glad Stella Luna's here. Me too. We could have been hurt. You saved our lives. And that's what friends are for. I don't understand it. We're so different and so much alike. How can we feel so alike? I love you, Stella Luna. I love you too, Pip.
How can we be so different and feel so much alike? Mused Flitter. And how can we feel so different and be so much alike? Wondered Pip. I think this is quite a mystery. Flap chirped. I agree, said Stella Luna. But we're friends, and that's a fact. <coughs> if you want to have my book read to you, click over here. To have a story read and play inside it, click over here. To learn more about bats, click here. Ooh, we should do the bat <coughs> mini game. <coughs> Let's check okay, it out. Okay, let's go. Welcome to the Bat Quiz. A fun I'll do level go. one. At this level, help me collect four ladybugs by answering the questions about bats. You get one ladybug for each right answer. So let's begin. If you want to leave, click on the arrow below. What does a fruit bat eat? Pizza, fruit, or bugs? Oh, 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 it's pizza, it's pizza. You guys know it's pizza. It's got a pizza. You got it. Or is that just a pizza bat? A fruit bat eats fruit. <coughs> Terrific! Only three more correct answers to go. We got this, guys. We can do it. What does a frog-eating bat catch? Fish, frogs, or flowers? Ooh, another hard one. Let's see. That's right. A frog-eating bat catches frogs. Good job. Only two more correct answers to go. Two more, guys. Are bats good to have around? Yes. Or no? Well, that's a silly question. If we said no, then they would all be extinct, wouldn't they? Correct. You sure know your bats. They bat are good facts. to have around. Yes, bats are very helpful. Some bats eat insects. Some carry seeds and drop them in fresh spots to grow. Every bat is an important part of nature. Mm -hmm. Stupendous. Only one more correct answer to go. Last one, guys. Come what on. is a bat's body covered with? Uh, clothes, fur, or scales? Clothes, obviously. It's clothes. They got a little dapper. You got it. <laughs> a bat's body is covered with fur. Good job. Thanks for playing bat quiz with me. Come back and try again soon. Oh, thank you, Stella Luna. Thank you. Welcome to the bat. Thanks for playing bat quiz with me. If you want to have my book read to you, click over here. To have a story read, and play inside it, click over here. To learn more about bats, click here. Well, that wraps up this episode of Little Bumble Bear's Let's Play, Stella Luna. I hope you enjoyed it. It was such a sweet story. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like, leave a comment down below telling me your memories of Living Books games, if you've played this one, and subscribe for more nostalgic 90s gaming. Remember, you are special and loved. You are never alone. You're always welcome to come hang out. Until next time, God bless, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, everyone.
Are you sure you want to quit? Okay, see you next time.